Assalamu alaikum. We're here in El Divisadero, Morasan, El Salvador. I'm here today to show you, basically, just to show you around my house. Actually, I haven't actually make, had a chance to make a video, so uh, welcome. This is my home. Um, my driveway to my house is right up here. I have a really long driveway that leads up to the main road, the, uh, aka the Pan American, which goes straight to the capital. It's pretty convenient. All I need to take is really just one bus. Um, here's my. Uh, this is my garage with no car. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I missed that. Um, here's the front entrance of my house. Let's let's go inside. Stop wasting time. I don't know if you can hear the cars, but it gets really loud and annoying sometimes. So I go through earplugs like crazy. Um, yeah, this is just a quick view of my home. This is my living room, my hammock. Everyone has a hammock. Um, I guess that's kind of like a bookshelf, no TV, entertainment place. This is my bedroom. Um, my light bulb just went out, so I'm not going to be turning on the light. Plus, it's good to conserve energy anyway, right? Um, this is my dresser. You can't really see, but I have two different rooms that I use. Um, one for sleeping, one for changing, or just keeping my clothes, because it's way too small. Another room. I also have two other rooms over here. Um, again, the lights are out again, so I apologize. I actually want to close these rooms off because they kind of freak me out at night. I don't know if you've seen Blair Witch Project, but uh, yeah, I'll just leave it as that. Um, Here's where I do, you think I would eat here at my table, right? But I actually eat in my hammock. I actually sleep and eat in my hammock. And I do my work on my kitchen table. Um, this is where I do my charlas, my lesson plans. I uh, make my posters. I'm working on one on, uh, on basura, garbage, or contamination in the environment. Um, so I'll hopefully get that done by today and teach that this week or next week. Now we're entering my kitchen. Um, I have a, what is this called in English? Dining cabinet, I guess, to put your stuff in, your, your plates and stuff. Again, this is a really nice setup. I'm really blessed to have all this. Um, the previous owner, they actually live in the States now, so they left a lot of stuff for me, like um, this toaster oven, as well as this fridge. It's a really nice, decent sized fridge. That was really nice of them to leave for me. Um, and yeah, I do all my cooking here. Uh, all right, now we're going into the backyard. I just did my laundry today. I washed my laundry by hand. It takes me about, well, this load took me about two hours to do. Um, from here, all the way there. I actually had some over there that I did. Um, actually, yeah, it took me about two, two and a half hours to do. Um, here's this dog that started befriending me um, a couple months ago. I started feeding him, um, and he's he's kind of he's kind of nice to have around because he barks at anyone that tries to come through the gate. Um, security is not really a huge issue here, but um, yeah, it's nice to. Nice to know that he's there to watch my back. Uh, oh, this is this is this is where I do my my dishes and my laundry. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, buddy. Uh, this is where I do my dishes and my laundry. Uh, it's just, this is called a pila, which is basically just a pool of water. Um, as you you might notice, it's a little dirty on the bottom, but the water in general is pretty clean. Um, not clean enough to drink. I usually I have to boil it, but. It's clean enough to bathe and stuff in. Um, those 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 yellow things that actually kills mosquito larvae. They're called uh, abate, and um, and I'm actually working with the Unidad de Salud by doing a um, an out some type of outreach program in the community to um, get those distributed properly throughout the um, community. And um, so ojalá. Uh, yeah, this is oh this is my bathroom. This is where I'm fortunate enough to have a toilet of my own. Um, so I do my business here and I also bathe. Um, yeah, it's nice. 
Oh, and I have lots of chickens and stuff, so whenever I need some eggs, I just have to just walk out in the morning and grab a couple eggs. Okay, so I did do that. Okay, I, I did do that one time, and and I'm not doing it anymore because yesterday I found. Oh, it's so disgusting. Yesterday I found a. Um, well, you know how where eggs come from, right? So, uh, you have your fertilized eggs and you have your unfertilized eggs. Normally, in America, we eat what the, fer the fertilized? No, we eat the unfertilized ones. So, I cracked an egg yesterday, and truth be told, uh, there was a little embryo inside, <laughs> a little bloody embryo. So, um, I'm not going to be eating those eggs anymore. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to buy them from the supermarket. Um, oh. Here is my organic compost that I started. Um, I started about four months ago, and uh, I'm really proud of it actually. And if you, I don't know if you know how how to how like the first steps of organic composting is like, but it's really just you start off with your dry leaves and your greens and other um, fruits like you know like organics your organic scene and what I did was I I leveled them and I mixed them periodically and added water and and now I have this really nice like mulch of of compost it's, just, it's like beautiful it's actually it smells really nice I wouldn't eat it but it smells nice and I can't wait to start using that with my ecological group um, club Hopefully, inshallah, we're going to be um, planting some native plants, growing, growing and planting native plants pretty soon. Okay. Okay, that's that's nice. I have um, sometimes the cows get into this, so the tarp is actually it's not really. For protection from the cows is actually protection from the rain, from aggressive rain and and the sun, and also it just keeps the, yeah it keeps the warmth and okay. So that was, I just wanted to show you guys that I know I take I know I've taken pictures, but it might be a different ouch barbed wire. It might be a um, speaking of injuries, I burned myself pretty bad yesterday on the stove. Uh, yeah, it's, this actually doesn't look too bad now, but it, it hurt. Um, <laughs> yeah, injuries are common here. Hey, Maxie. I really don't know what to call him, so I started calling him Maxie. I don't know. Because when the kids started calling him Maxie, I don't know. <laughs> so I started calling him Maxie. Um, again, into the house again. I have a really big house, considering... And... And I don't know if you know, but I pay my rents twenty-five dollars a month. Five dollars on five additional dollars for the water, so thirty total. And my electricity is like usually less than three dollars a month. And <laughs> well, I don't know. It, it kind of works out considering that volunteers only get three hundred dollars. So I think it's a good trade-off. Well, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my home. Home. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Adios. Salud pues.